Hello everyone, my name is Dan from New Mexico Rocketry Reviews and today we're going to be going over our model rocket test stand. So let's get started. We built this model rocket test stand so we can find out how much thrust a model rocket motor outputs. So let's see how it works. Our model rocket test stand uses a combination of four single point load cells which have resistors built into them. When under pressure, these resistors will allow a small electrical current through, which can then be measured to see how much thrust the model rocket motor is producing. However, the load cells produce such a small current that the Arduino cannot directly measure it. So, we are using something called a load cell amplifier to amplify the signal from the load cell, pass it onto the Arduino, which will then record the data onto the serial monitor. The serial monitor is on a separate laptop or computer and it just records all the measurements that are coming from the Arduino. Here are some design features of our model rocket test stand. So we built the motor mount inside a PVC pipe, that way we could drill holes in the PVC for the ejection charge to escape. Along with that, we added some lights so the test stand is better lit and we made sure all the critical components of the model rocket test stand computers were on the other side of this wooden board. Along with that we add an LCD to display all information that can help with debugging. Also we have a plexiglass shield for the camera that way the camera won't get damaged by the model rocket motor. Alright so this is our procedure for when we're about to start our testing. So first off we have to tear the model rocket test stand and to do that we just enter T into the serial monitor right here. And then it says tear successful and now we need to set a calibration weight that way the load cells know just how to measure the thrust of the model rocket motor to simulate the calibration weight we're going to be using this um, portable battery which weighs 198 grams so we set the portable battery there and we enter the weight into the serial monitor which is 198 now that that is on there it calibrates and we carefully take it off and now we enter Y to confirm and it starts recording. So then the model rocket motor is about to be ignited and we start the countdown and ignite it and it goes off and then it stops. Now let's get to the test footage. So the graph on the left shows the results that we got from our test stand and the graph on the right shows the results that SDs got from theirs. If you'd like to see more data, just check out the link in the description and that will have all the data points along with additional graphs and a lot more data such as average thrust, maximum thrust, things like that. Anyways, the thrust peak on our motor was shorter than SDs but once the thrust flattened out we got about the same results. Weirdly though. Our motor lasted for a bit longer than SD's and we think that's because the load cell was not responsive enough. To fix this we will be using a single load cell instead of using four in a Wheatstone bridge configuration. If you liked the video make sure to hit the like button below and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Also thanks to our patron Rob Hermes for supporting us. If you'd like to support us just check out the link in the description. Other than that have a great day.